I'm Dave Daly with KaiserTV.com. We're here today at the Kaiser Chamber of Commerce, uh, connecting us all today with our exciting new announcement of having Daniel Bethel welcome as Executive Director of the Kaiser Chamber. You and I have been talking about Kaiser and the, its exciting future for years, Danielle. Yeah. And how does it feel to be here in this spot, selected by your peers, uh, the stakeholders of Kaiser have uh, stepped up behind you with your passion for loving this city and and uh, how's it feel to be your first few days here on the job? I'm excited. It's been a lot. I, I'm not going to lie. The last three days has been a lot of interactions with people that have um, visions and goals and you know their ideas overall what they want to see happening here and I'm taking all that in and making a plan and honestly once we get through Iris Festival which is really kind of the big focus right now mm -hmm. um, I'm excited to hit the ground running with all the partners um, in Kaiser there's a lot of businesses that have some ideas that they want to see um, come to fruition in the next couple of years and I'm I'm excited to get behind them and start showcasing those things. Well, uh, Kaiser does have so many big uh, choices to make. We're really at a crossroads on where are we going to expand and how are we going to make the current businesses even more successful. Right. And we have two dollars an hour wage hitting all of our businesses in January 2017. So I know it's what you wake up every day to focus on solving those problems and us here at Kaiser TV are going to be featuring all the great stories so that our Kaiser community can support these businesses. You know, Danielle, to our Kaiser citizens, why do they need to support a Kaiser business right now? Well, if it wasn't for the businesses in Kaiser, there wouldn't be a Kaiser. River Road is um, full of families that are running local companies that give back to every project or program we see happening. Um, the, the turf project, which I spearheaded, is really a prime example of Kaiser coming together at the same time that we have um, the big toy project happening. And although that one had um, city backing behind it, it still was an invaluable business run initiative. And I think you can't live in Kaiser and not know that the businesses are the key backbone of it. Yeah. That's the bottom line. And, and to you, uh, businesses and organizations of Kaiser, now has never been a better time to be part of the Kaiser Chamber. You're going to see a whole new level of up in the game. Wouldn't you agree? Absolutely. On strengthening this community and benefiting your business by being around this table. Yeah, absolutely. Read? I think I, there's a 900 businesses that are within our reach that we don't have on our membership yet. And I'm going to be meeting with all of them in the next year or two, because there's not enough <laughs> hours in the day. Yeah. Um, I want to hear what they have to say. I want to know what makes their business thrive and how we can bring business to them so they can continue to thrive and how we can engage them as a team. Yeah. I mean, there's 1,300 businesses within you know a couple mile radius of River Road. Some of them are members already and a bulk of them aren't. And there's a reason they're not. And I want to know what those reasons are so we can get out there and provide them the direct feedback from their customers that they need to have so they can engage and expand and support. I mean, you brought up the minimum wage increase and that affects every business, whether they're small or big. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we have a team here through our government action committee that's being the voice for Kaiser businesses and all of those businesses need to come forward and share their perspective regardless of whatever the side of the aisle they're on and help us formulate a plan so that way Kaiser can still be Kaiser. And you know I put uh, Danielle's daughter in a McNary jersey and uh, here we're going to be sending you reasons, daily motivational messages of why it's great to strengthen the Kaiser community and it's going to be a lot of fun because the tapestry's here. Yeah. I don't know 800 volunteers you could put in a park like last summer like we saw with the big toy and we need to build on those momentums. Right. We need another project where we get 900 volunteers because it's here. We're going to let you take a break. A break. I know we've invested a lot. We've yeah. asked every business yeah. to invest big but know there's something big on the horizon for Kaiser's next chapter. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, I'm excited to take a reprieve myself from kind of those fundraising <laughs> jobs that I've been doing over the last few years yeah. um, and really focus on building those businesses because I, again, the businesses are the backbone. They're the heart of why we do what we do around here. And I don't think there's a single business owner, whether we're Kaiser Station or River Road, that doesn't see a need. Mm -hmm. And somehow I think the chamber can help put them in front of that situation and let them lead it themselves. Yeah. So, uh, Danielle, contact information, since someone want to join the chamber, you can come right here to Kaiser Station. They have an office. Uh, they'll get your packet filled out. Bob Bush is a great uh, 
office manager, but uh, should they want to connect with you, how can they do that? My email address is danielle at kaiserchamber.com and our phone number is 503-393-9111. So you can call me on the phone, you can send me an email, or really pop in. I'd really love to see everybody individually and build that relationship directly so that way when I see them out and about, I can reassure them who I am and what I'm out there to do. Well, I can't tell you enough, Danielle, how excited I am. Uh, to have you in this uh, opportunity. It really is an opportunity. That sh there's no dust going to be settling around here, everybody. <laughs> but uh, she gives her heart into everything she does. And please, below this video, please comment uh, some remarks uh, for this exciting time about this uh, new chapter for Kaiser. And uh, last, uh, she's still continuing on as the Booster Club chair, everybody. So she wears a lot of hats. And if you have a chance to volunteer, please see where you can because there's lots of opportunities to volunteer. Absolutely. That's the moniker of Kaiser, pride, spirit, and volunteerism. And uh, I know you need more help now than ever uh, of more people around the table. So thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. And for more great stories here in Kaiser, visit kaisertv.com. Thank you.